Hi, my name is Nathan, and this week's Tech Tuesday, we're going to take a dive in to the options you have available on your receipts with Clover. So let's go take a look. So to access your receipts, uh, to customize your payment receipts, what you want to do is on your Clover device, you want to find the setup application. Next, you're going to have a list over here. You're going to look for payment receipts. So if we scroll down, now we get a receipt preview and the options available. So we'll just go through one by one just to show you how you're going to customize your receipt and what it looks like for your business. So number one is the receipt logo. So on the Clover dashboard, you're able to go in and upload a logo and have it displayed right here. Next, you have a custom header text. What this looks like for you is you can display messages on your receipts. So this is great for pushing promotions out or any information you want your customers to know about your business uh, to maybe bring them back. So today we put Tech Tuesday on there. Next, we have an order note. So what an order note is, is you can tie a specific note to the receipt for your customer's record and for yours. So if I press order note, we'll see man in red shirt. So in this scenario, it looks like the system's trying to identify who the customer is. Next, we can go to cashier name. So when it comes to Clover, you can get a unique code for the system where everything comes underneath. So if you see here, Nate's at the bottom of the screen. And then this is just a preview for demo purposes. So it says cashier John. Next option we have available is line items. So if we push line items, you can see we're getting a preview at various different things that were purchased. Following the line items, you have the ability to put a modifier on there. What a modifier is, is you're modifying a product. So if I select modifier, show all of them. So now we can take a look underneath chicken sandwich. We're changing it to Swiss cheese for $1.50. And instead of whatever the sandwich comes with as far as bread, the customer is requesting wheat at $0. So they're modifying the product. Next, we can do modifier group names. So this is more tailored to the back end of the system, where if you have a modifier group with various different cheeses, you can have it displayed there. If you offer various different bread, you can put it there. Next is group items by guest. So this is when it comes into our dining solution, which is great. So what we're able to do is have guest one, guest two, so you can kind of keep straight of who's ordering what. Finally, we have custom footer text. What custom footer text is, is again, another way to push messages out to your customers, keep them informed of stuff that's happening or any message you wish to display for, for them. The next one, we have an online receipt URL. So what this looks like for you is if you were to put this URL into your browser, you'd be able to quickly pull up the transaction. Same goes for the barcode. If we scan the barcode, you'll be able to pull up the transaction. The last thing we have available for you on your customizable receipt is the customer information. So you can see here, John Doe, address, phone, and email. So we have the ability to add customers so if I do a quick search, find me, whatever information is here. So we can see we have Nathan, phone number, address. So you can include these on your customer receipt. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's Tech Tuesday. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out to info at We look forward to hearing from you.